Hi everyone, today was a good day. Finally, another good day. Finally, I'm starting to near the state where I'm on a roll. I'm not on a roll yet, absolutely not. But now I have trained three solid days in a row and I'm looking to hit the fourth solid day in a row tomorrow. One day at a time now, staying disciplined. Um, I have now a short term goal, which will be most likely a competition on the 20th of November, Taekwondo fighting. Um, not only do I need to get like lose weight, I also need to gain some strength um, in preparation for that and train Taekwondo, you know, stretch, uh, do cardio. So skipping sessions at this point is basically fucking illegal, except if it's a single session or if I get injured or something along those lines. I'll need to have a really, really, really solid, um, you know, extremely legitimate excuse to skip trainings at this moment in time. Um, and especially if I feel good, uh, skipping sessions will not be um, prohibited, allowed, whatever you want to say, um, by myself. Because, you know, I'm going to fight in less than three weeks. So... And by the way, I'm in no way overreached either when it comes to my training. In no way overreaching, not right now at least, since I'm getting decent sleep because it's a holiday. Um, I'm feeling good physically. And the one thing that will be very difficult is getting this last kilogram off um, and keeping it off while gaining strength. Because um, I have a bit more strength to gain now in like one and a half or two and a half weeks time. Um, probably two weeks time actually. Pretty much exactly two weeks time um, before <clears throat> I'll start cutting weight um, when it comes to water weight and everything else. So the plan is to get down to 77.0 uh, kilos as an average weight throughout the whole of next week. Um, get down to 77.0 by the end of this week, but to have 77 as an average weight for next week and then to have a 4.1 kilogram weight cut, um, which will be f performed in three days. It'll, it will probably just be a basic three-day fast, and then on the last 24 hours, I'll just drive fast, which basically means um, no water and no food, nothing coming into your body, pretty much at all. So that will be a total of around 72 hours. Um, my family's walking around the house. No, they're gone. 72 hours without food, and then the last 24 hours without water of those 72 hours. Um, hopefully I won't lose that much strength. Um, I have weight, cut weight before, um, I believe from uh, around 70 and a half all the way down to 67.1, which is a three point, um, let me think here. That's like a 3.4 kilo cut. Yeah, something along those lines. So I, I think a 4.1 kilo cut is pretty doable. Um, Especially since um, I'm going to be pretty high in muscle, pretty low in fat. Um, probably I'll have a lot of water to shed. Um, although it will be difficult, it will be uh, manageable. And, you know, it will be hard to go to school when I haven't eaten for like two days. And then to go to lessons and maybe have tests and stuff. Um, but that is, some, that is a self-inflicted problem. And therefore, feeling sorry for yourself isn't really, you know... The smartest thing you can do, what you can do in that case is to remove that problem um, if it is self-inflicted. And I won't remove the problem um, because pushing an extra effort to get down to the lower weight class will enable me to um, fight at a weight where I will be more competitive, especially when it comes to power um, and when it comes to limb length. Durability um, will also be impacted in a positive sense and I will fight guys that can't hit as hard um, probably not as hard as me. <clears throat> I've never been the most explosive guy, but once fatigue and lactic acid start setting in, the fastest, quickest, most explosive guys tend to slow down. Um, and then I will most likely be, uh, if not the hardest hitter, one of the hardest hitters in the division that I'm going to fight in. But we aren't, in, or I am not, entirely sure that I can compete on the 20th of November. Because um, there are a lot of things that need to fall into place. For example, I don't have a coach right now. Um, at all, so I'll, I'm going to have to contact um, a guy that used to fight at my club um, who who moved 
and I'm going to have to ask him because he has a lot of contacts. I'm going to have to ask him if he knows any coaches that can coach me on the 20th of November. Um, so it's going to be a whole fiasco. It's going to be pretty crazy, um, pretty crazy. Um, but I think I can get it done um, because I do want to compete once before the national championship, figure out where I am, you know, how I need to approach fights. Uh, if I make a big mistake, I will have to, I will have some time to correct it. Um, um, I'll get to feel like what my cardio actually is like practically in a fight. I'll, I'll get to know, like, how do I pace myself when I'm just fighting naturally? Um, and maybe if I want to do something crazy, um, I'll rather do that on that competition than to do it um, on the national championship because the national championship is like the, the last chance, the biggest fight, the biggest competition, at least, of my entire life, it will be. Um, it will be my biggest opportunity ever to become the best in my country at something, which is something I've always dreamed of, um, at least when it comes to Taekwondo. Um, having a national championship gold will make me temporarily happy um, and it will not fulfill me, and not in the slightest, when it comes to my life, but it will be, you know, um, a small addition to all of the, you know, life achievements I, I may or may not um, produce during my lifetime. And I never know if I'm ever going to get injured or something's going to go crazy with my body or if I'm going to lose motivation. Um, and it would be very sad to train uh, for as long as I've trained, uh, even though I haven't trained very consistently. It would be sad um, to throw away all the hours that I put into my sport um, by never winning a national championship, uh, especially since I live in a small country, Sweden. It would be completely different if I lived in, you know, in England like I used to. Um, that would be a completely different level of competition, most likely just due to sheer numbers of people competing, as well as the fact that England has a very solid uh, Olympic team most years. Um, not most years, but you know, every four years in Taekwondo. Um, the fact that England has taken home many gold medals in Taekwondo should tell you enough that, you know, it's a pretty high level country. So if I do win the national championship this year, um, that, that only means that I was the best in Sweden at a particular time, in a particular weight class, in a particular age class. That basically means that I'm only better than, let's say, you know, 10 people that have the same dream. But that would still put me uh, as what I would consider to be a good fighter, a solid fighter, and a person that you can, that has a respectable achievement under his belt. Um, and even though it isn't the hardest, craziest goal anyone's ever had, for me, it will require a lot of work in these next weeks and it will be very difficult, most likely. I don't see a scenario where uh, I can coast and achieve that result. Um, I believe it will take close to 100% effort uh, when it comes to preparation and when it comes to especially to co competition day. It will not be easy, um, especially since I'm not the most technical fighter and I will have to rely on things like my cardiovascular um, conditioning as well as my strength, my power, my heart, um, you know, mental strength. I'll have to fall back on a lot of attributes that aren't necessarily... you know, things that will give me points, like a kick gives you points. Punching to the body won't give you points. But I'm going to have to use everything I can. I'm going to have to use every trick in the book um, and find myself every small advantage to win. Um, I cannot coast. I cannot just walk in there and win on any given day. Um, it will be very difficult, but I believe I can do it. And achieving that result would be phenomenal. I'll see you guys tomorrow.